Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. The purpose of our organization is to create an open source project launch blueprint, everything necessary to build self-sufficient and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities all over the world. And we're doing this because we believe that a more fulfilled way of living is possible because we believe that the world is ready and we believe and because we believe that a sustainable future is possible that works for all of humanity if enough people want it and we can make it easy enough for people to accomplish so that's what we're doing and we're open source and free sharing everything that we create to help others to follow in our footsteps footsteps or take what we're doing in a different direction uh, to forward the complete shift that we see is happening. And so this is our video update number 16 and uh, covering our progress and accomplishments for the week of June 10th, 2013. And so I'm going to go over a quick overview of everything that we've accomplished this week and then I'll go into a little bit more in depth after that. So for people that just want to see what it is that we're doing, you just watch the first couple minutes here. And then uh, if you want more details, you can continue watching the rest of the details after that. So this last week, things that we have accomplished just in the last week. Uh, we finished our first generation 3D of the aquaponics. It's done thanks to Ziggy and the RBE 10K project. Uh, he's done an amazing amount of beautiful work on that for us. Um, Tropical Atrium 3D is now progressing again with the help of Devin Porter and um, just a new person that's helping us out with 3D on the Tropical Atrium, taking the amazing work of John Bassist to the next level so that we can create that, which is the centerpiece of the Earth Bag Village. Um, tropical Atrium cost analysis details and the attracting pollinators details are also done. And oh, by the way, so all of this, when I'm talking about 3D and images and all that, as always, if you're interested in pictures and links to all the details, comprehensive details on all this, the, if you go to the YouTube uh, description down below, the first link there is to a written blog <clears throat> that also covers all of this stuff and so and goes into much more depth than I'll go here. So Tropical Atrium cost analysis details and attracting pollinators is done. Um, the, we have a 3D mill, village mock-up, which is done. So the first 3D mock-up of the entire village, uh, just to kind of give an idea of what the entire earth bag village is going to look like, is now complete. And this last week, we also completed our first nine dome 3D cluster, putting that in place. So we have three clusters of domes and now we've got nine of them put into place appropriately placed and so we're starting to build out the whole 3d village you can see pictures of that on the written blog uh, we've got our time investment projections page done which is huge because it took a lot of conversation with a lot of our collaborative partners and hours and hours and hours of work um, probably I would say 20 or 30 hours of work just to get that done and so the time investment projections for the whole earth bag village is complete exactly what we're going to do with that i'll talk a little bit more about that later uh, we also got our tools and equipment projections done for the earth bag village so every tool and piece of equipment that will be necessary to build a an individual earth dome home or a three dome cluster or to build the entire village and so that page is also complete and uh, this last week we also finished our first three trees are now up on our large-scale aquapini which doesn't sound like much, but it's a huge amount of work and looks beautiful. So we've got the map up that shows where every single thing that's going to be planted in that large-scale production aquapini is going to go. And now we've got the first trees up with their description, with their placement considerations, and with their cultural considerations all up on that page as well. And so it's exciting to have that done. We're starting to move forward. Uh, we also finished our highest good business portals, which is our for-profit, our non-profit, and our entrepreneurial model business portals were completed this last week as well. So all three of those are up. I'll tell you what those are all about in a second. And then um, we got our global collaboration tutorial up, which is related to all the food infrastructure pieces so that anybody that wants to collaborate with us on that or to take the blueprints and the open source project launch blueprinting that we're doing and demonstrate that with different plants and different components and have us feature that on our website. We've created a tutorial that we see as being used long-term into the future um, to really help people plug in to what it is that we're doing to share their projects and evolve a global archive and database of information and different modifications to the things that we're doing. Because everything we're doing is designed to be either modularly produced as an individual component or to be produced as a complete teacher demonstration village and hub. 
And so this is a big piece on that, and we're excited to have that up. And then um, last but certainly not least, uh, we've also uh, partnered, we have joined a new partner uh, this last week with us, which is Build Hybrid Community and Towns Now Group with Michael Knight, who's been a huge supporter of the project for a long time, runs an amazing group, which is a Facebook group that's very proactive about this kind of stuff. And so we're happy to have partnered with them as well in this last week. And so that's the overview um, of everything we accomplished in the last week. Super productive week, lots of exciting things. There's a few things that I would like to touch on a little bit more now in relation to that, just to kind of share where we're going with that. The business portal specifically uh, is one of those things, as well as a little bit more about that global collaboration tutorial. Maybe talk a little about the 3D stuff that's that's happening as well. So, and, and the reason is because, well, this idea of creating a sustainable future for everyone and our organization as a highest good for all organization is that we want to address we want to address creating a completely new civilization, all aspects of civilization. We feel that if a solution is to be found that works for all of humanity, it needs to be a solution that addresses all aspects of humanity for the highest good of all people. And so with that in mind, our business portal is a great example of that, which we've just finished. You can check that out. The links are in the written blog. And what that is, is for-profit business, non-profit business, and our entrepreneurial model. And the idea of what one community is meant to be is representing all of those things. And our highest good of all philosophy, or our approach with one community, is ultimately, ultimately what we want to demonstrate is a level of self-sufficiency and sustainability that does not require money to operate, or very, very little money to operate. And so the, the concept is and what we've been working on for 15 years of development with this project, and for me for the last two years full-time leading a team that is now over 50 collaborative partners as well as our core pioneer group, is to build all the infrastructure and demonstrate a way of life that most people would consider to be more fulfilling, but includes all the different components necessary so that within the village, money is not necessary. Within the village model, money does not need to exchange hands. And the revenue that comes in it from people coming and visiting the model, which is very com competitively priced with Best Western or an experience like that, somebody for the same vacation dollars that they could spend to go to Best Western could come to one community and have homegrown food, have home-cooked meals, have this whole social architecture and this whole recreational environment for the same price that they would pay just to go to a Best Western or something like that, and they would be learning something. And most importantly, they would be able to take the entire blueprints for what it is that we did and build that for themselves. And so with that model, there are several different components. Our organization is a nonprofit organization, but there are for-profit components that also will tie in with this as well. For instance, the revenue streams from ecotourism that will that are a for-profit model that is also duplicable. So we believe that if this is going to be a maximally duplicable idea that is going to spread virally around the planet. We want to provide something for everyone. And that means that not every duplicate community would be a nonprofit organization. Ours is a nonprofit organization because that makes sense for everything that we're doing. But we also have a for profit business model that may be able to fall underneath our nonprofit. We'll find out. We'll have to look because we aren't, because of the way that we're purposing all that money goes back into the organization. So there's some details that we need to work out with an accountant. But the point of it is, is that the whole model will be able to be duplicated as a purely for-profit model by somebody else if they want to. Or all the aspects of one community that we identify that clearly are nonprofit and legally fit underneath the guidelines of a nonprofit, those also can be duplicated. And then there's a third component to that, which is the entrepreneurial model, which is nonprofit sponsorship of highest good for all businesses, for-profit and non-profit businesses, that then feed more money back into the non-profit so they can continue to grow. So that we have the funds available to continue to expand indefinitely as a growing organization of non-profit volunteers that are addressing all of the significant issues of our generation, all the significant issues of the world today, beyond even, obviously including housing, food and energy infrastructure, but also including education and recreation models and these kinds of self-growth and fulfillment models and ideas as well to create a completely new and sustainable future civilization for all. That's the big picture. And so 
I bring all this up because we finished those those portals. Those business portals are done now, and you can go and look and see exactly where we're going with the for-profit aspects, where we're going with the non-profit aspects, and what that entrepreneurial model is all about as well, because it's designed so that people with the debt will be able to use this model once it's established, can to either come into our organization and use one community to help themselves get out of debt, or to build these teacher demonstration villages and models as a for-profit model to help them get out of debt with this entrepreneurial model that is also duplicable to help people get out of debt, to create financial freedom for people. And that is ultimately the idea because I believe, we believe as an organization, that financially free people that are really, really don't have to worry about those things are much, much more likely to engage in highest good for all practices and really start thinking globally about how they can help other people. And so that's what our organization, a big part of what our organization is all about, is creating the environment so that more and more people can participate in this idea, free themselves from financial scarcity and from, the, from debt, and then from that place of financial freedom, give back to the world, contribute to the world, and make a real difference for everybody. And as this idea duplicates and we set up more and more teacher demonstration villages, and the idea catches on, it'll become more compelling for the general public at large. And so that's how we see this whole idea spreading. And so, so those portals are up and we're excited to share that. And related to that then is the global collaboration tutorial, which we also finished, which is a great peek into where we're going with say one component of the project. And this idea of building a global archive of people all over the world that are taking our blueprints, taking the ideas and everything that we're doing, the tools, tutorials, and resources, everything that we have, that is free shared and open source, they're taking those ideas and applying them in their own way. And we wanna help those organizations that are interested in contributing to a global, global collaborative, collaborative and a global archive for the benefit of all of humanity. If somebody is interested in that level, in doing the extra work, because it is a lot of extra work to open source project launch blueprint stuff versus just saying, hey, take our information. It's a lot more work to make it usable as a launch point for another project. But for everybody who wants to participate in that, that tutorial is an example of, hey, here's how you provide the information for us so that we can, we, we can effectively and efficiently put that information up on the website, promote your organization while promoting our organization, while collaborating together to make both of our organizations better in a way that other that's transparent, that's open source and free shared, that other people could then look at as a template for them evolving it also. And so the idea is the whole database grows the whole archive grows. And everybody that's plugged into that and collaborating because we're on the same page, it becomes a better resource and a more efficient resource. Taking the idea of Wikipedia is a great example of this where people are just volunteering their time and plugging in and collaborating and the whole thing has become a huge database. It's not perfect, but it's become a huge and super useful database that has literally put an encyclopedia in the hands of everybody with a computer. Taking that same idea and applying it to complete civilization infrastructure, education, housing, food, all this stuff, energy, recreation models. And so with that, the new uh, global collaborative tutorial is a great example of what that looks like and how we're doing that. And then once people start plugging into that and saying, hey, yes, we want to do this, we're going to build this, we've got these tutorials, then we can start working together to make it better. And anything that we missed or evolutions, all those things get plugged into the archive. The archive grows, everybody benefits. More and more people get exposure to the information. We help to get the information out there. We help to promote people on the same page. And so it all ties back into the business model, which is, our business model is designed to not only be a nonprofit organization that also demonstrates something that could be a for-profit organization and, and uh, has an entrepreneurial model that can sponsor businesses and help individuals create businesses and, and self-sufficiency, financial self-sufficiency that also benefits the original model, which is one community, but it's also all designed so that we're building the marketing engine right now so that future communities don't have to build a marketing engine. Because if they're on board with the highest good of all philosophy, we will market them because that's in the highest good of humanity. And it's kind of obviously necessary. So a great example of this would be our newest partners, Build Hybrid Community and Towns Now group. Michael Knight runs an amazing organization and he's super happy to promote us and any other organizations that are moving in the direction that he sees humanity needs to go. 
and that whole organization is very, very supportive of us, and we're very, very supportive of them because we're all on the same page. What happens when we get a thousand people really clearly on the same page and creating open source and free shared content, really engaging this open source project launch blueprinting process and putting that out there for free for people to take that information and evolve with it in a new direction? What happens when we get 10,000 people doing that? What happens when we get 100,000 people doing that? That's what we want to find out. And we know it's possible. It's obviously possible. So we just need to create the infrastructure, the foundations to set, we believe, to set more and more people free, to make it as easy and as affordable as possible. Lay that foundation, that groundwork, because if we, we believe if we provide the foundation and the groundwork, and we make all that part easy. We demystify the process so that people can look at it and go, I know how much, about how much time it's going to take me, about how much money it's going to cost me, what my investment is going to be to create this, my personal investment, and what my rewards are going to be, which is the living example of one community. Then going, oh, I could have that. Then by providing those foundations for free, open source and free sharing those foundations, because all that's taken care of, it's just natural that people will build above and beyond that. And so now what happens is one community becomes the original model. And yeah, that's great. But the next version of that, whatever that is, probably be better. And the next version of that will probably be better and better. And so the whole idea, this idea of building a civilization, a sustainable civilization that's a benefit of all of humanity, what does that look like? Well, it looks like starting with an idea and knowing that if you really solidly identify that idea, then that becomes the launch point for more and more successively better ideas. And if this idea is solidly established, then those successively better ideas can feed the information back into this model. And since we've established ourselves, then we can focus our attention on the evolution process of sharing the constant evolutions and helping to promote, promote the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. And so, in so doing, the teacher, the self-propagating teacher demonstration model is established. The teacher hubs being built all over the world are established in collaboration, connecting as a web of teacher demonstration organizations that anybody can come and visit. Anybody can come and visit and see what it is. They can experience it and decide if they would like to engage with a group of people in creating an entire teacher demonstration village themselves, or maybe they just want to take a piece of the project and they want to apply that within their urban environment or with their own within their own communities or groups or social circles. It could be building food infrastructure in their backyard. It could be building a food forest. It could be running an educational program using the Education for Life program. It could be running a for-profit business. It could be running a nonprofit organization. It could be taking the entrepreneurial model idea and collaborating within their communities in an environment that wouldn't be set up like a village or a city, but more in a city environment than saying, hey, we want to build a social community within this environment to run this model. Look at how it runs. If we all put in ideas, if we run the same idea of saying, hey, who's got a business plan? Who's got an idea? And we all put money into this idea. We launch it, get it all set up using the same entrepreneurial model as one community. We could launch this business and it would set Bob free financially and it would pay 25, 30% back into the original fund that helped set it up and start really empowering people to do this. It's the idea of Kickstarter, but with a more community aspect. All these ideas are already working. All these ideas, it's the concept, it's the concept of, of, it's the concept of a corporation. Right now, what's happening, this idea of corporate identity where you bring a group together with the sole purpose of making money, and instead of the sole purpose being making money, the sole purpose is for the highest good of all humanity and focusing on that. And that sole purpose can be that because we remove the need for money with a foundation of self-sustainability and self-sufficiency. And so by building that and promoting that and saying, hey, if you, anybody in mainstream America, in the world, say, if you can build self-sufficient infrastructure like this and set yourself free, then you can start focusing on these other things for the highest good of all. Or you don't have to. But if you want to focus on it for the highest good of all, our organization wants to work with your organization, and we can collaborate. 
it's not even a necessarily a sharing of resources. It's more a matter of your creating resources that are of value to humanity. We've, uh, we're creating resources of value to humanity and already have, and let's bring our puzzle pieces together. Put them together to create a bigger picture that is a more powerful entity for helping humanity. And as more and more people get on board with this idea, then obviously our influence, influence and our ability to help even more grows, and we can support each other more. And so this is what's already happening. We've already got an amazing group of partners and collaborative people that are coming from all over the world, new folks joining us all the time from across the planet, in the United States, out of the United States, all over the place, coming together saying, we want to help create this. And we're saying, great. And at the same time, we're reaching out for organizations that we see like the RBE 10K project that are that are doing I that have great ideas and are making a difference in the world similar to the way that we are and saying how can we help you too? What's your puzzle piece that you have? What's the puzzle piece that we have? How can we put these puzzle pieces together and create something even more beautiful and more effective for everybody? And so that's what it's all about. And um, as usual, I went on a little bit of a rant, but uh, you know it's exciting what's happening right now. We're in a time in with humanity right now a shift is happening despite what you see on the news despite what 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 that there are there's lots of stuff out there that's happening that isn't super positive but the bigger picture is moving very powerfully and very quickly in the right direction and uh, i think it's moving fast enough and i think we have a beautiful future ahead of us and I'd love to see it move faster. And so our organization's purpose to do that as quickly and effectively as we can. And if you're somebody that would like to join us in this process, uh, either contact us, fill out a partnership uh, or a consulting interest form, join us as a one community pioneer and, and the group of people that's gonna move on to the property and build all of this, or take the information that we have and use it in whatever way works best for you. It's all free for the taking. And it's evolving quickly, and we nothing. There's no greater compliment, in our opinion, than people taking the information that we're putting out there and using it to create something, something beautiful. And so our idea is to spread it. And if you just want to support the idea, if you just like the ideas of what we're doing, share these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, get involved in just paying attention to what we're doing, liking our our pages on Facebook is a huge help for us. Just liking and sharing our pages on Facebook sharing our funding pages because we're still seeking funding for purchasing the property. If we could get the property off the market, take our project to a whole new level. So liking our funding pages, which are real easy to find if you just go into helping one community in the drop down there, ways to help, it's at the top of that, go in. Or you can just go and type in onecommunityglobal.org forward slash funding and that will take you to one of our funding pages, which links to the other two. Sharing that stuff is probably one of the best ways that you can help right now, especially if you know somebody who has the means to help us. But there's so many ways to participate, and we're always creating new ways to participate. There's so many aspects of this project that you can plug into. Most of those new pages I just described still have work that needs to be done. They're done as far as like the Earthbank Village, but now we need to work out all the details of exactly how to build the vermiculture toilets what you're done, but we need mechanical engineering. And then we need to work out the actual purchase order for all those materials and build one. Same thing with the communal shower designs and builds. We've got an architect that's designed those, but we need to put that into 3D. There's lots of places where people can plug in. There's even a group now on Facebook completely dedicated to 3D and working with the 3D models. And I'll put that link in the, in the written blog as well so you can check it out. If you'd like to become a 3D designer, go to that page and check it out. And so, um, yeah, tons of cool stuff going on. As always, thank you for listening. Thanks for following our project. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking our videos. The emails and stuff that we get are super beneficial. And until next week, uh, have yourself a beautiful week. And keep on keeping on.